Chapter 64 The First Day's Battle Dushasna was leading the Kaurava forces and Bhimasena did the same on the Pandava side. The noise of battle rolled and rent the air. The kettle drums, trumpets, horns and conches made the sky ring with their clamour. Horses neighed, charging elephants trumpeted and the warriors uttered their lion roars. Our arrows flew in the air like burning meteors. Fathers and sons, uncles and nephews slew one another, forgetful of old affection and ties of blood. It was a mad and terrible carnage. In the forenoon of the first day's battle, the Pandava army was badly shaken. Wherever Bhishma's chariot went, it was like the dance of the destroyer. Abhimanyu could not bear this and he attacked the grandsire. When the oldest and the youngest warriors thus met in battle, the gods came to watch the combat. Abhimanyu's flag displaying the golden Karnikara tree brightly waved on his chariot. Kritavarma was hit by one of his arrows and Shalya was hit five times. Bhishma himself was hit nine times by Abhimanyu's shafts. Durmukha's charioteer was uh, struck by one of Abhimanyu's sword edge arrow and his severe head rolled on the ground. Another bo broke Kripa's bow. Abhimanyu's feats brought down showers of flowers from the gods who looked on. Bhishma and the warriors supporting him exclaimed, Indeed, a worthy son to Dhananjaya. Then the Kaurva warriors made a combined attack on the valiant youth, but he stood against them all. He parried with his own all the shafts discharged by Bhishma. One of his well-aimed arrows brought the grandsire's palm tree flag down. Seeing this, Bhimasena was overjoyed and made a great lion roar that further inspired the valiant nephew. Great was the grandsire's joy, seeing the valor of the young hero. Unwillingly, he had to use his full strength against the boy. Virata, his son Uttara, Drishtadyumna, the son of Drupata and Bhima, came to relieve the young hero and attacked the grandsire, who then turned his attentions on them. Uttara, the son of Virata, rode an elephant and led a fierce charge on Shalya. Shalya's chariot horses were tramped to, trampled to death and thereupon he hurled a javelin at Uttara. It went with unerring aim and pierced him in the chest. The goad he had in his hand dropped and he rolled down dead. But the elephant did not withdraw. It continued charging until Shalya cut off its trunk and hit it in many places with his arrows. And then it uttered a loud cry and fell dead. Shalya got into Kritavarma's car. Virata's son Shweta saw Shalya slay his younger brother. His anger rose like fire fed by libations of butter and he drove his chariot towards Shalya. Seven chariot warriors at once came up in support of Shalya and protected him from all sides. Arrows were showered on Shweta and the missiles sped across like lightning in clouds. Shweta defended himself marvelously. He parried their shafts with his own and cut their javelins down as they sped towards him. The warriors in both armies were amazed by, at the skill displayed by Shweta. Duryodhana lost no time now and sent forces to relieve Salya. Whereupon there was a great battle. Thousands of soldiers perished and numerous were the chariots broken and the horses and the elephants killed. Shweta succeeded in putting Duryodhana's men to flight and he pushed forward and attacked Bhishma. Bhishma's flag was brought down by Shweta. Bhishma in his turn killed Shweta's horses and charioteer. Thereupon they hurled javelins at one another and fought on. Shweta took a mace and swinging it sent it at Bhishma's car which was smashed to pieces. But the grandsire, even before the maze dashed against the chariot, had anticipated it and jumped down. From the ground, he pulled the string of his bow to his ear and sent a fatal arrow to arrow at Shweta. Shweta was stuck and fell dead. Dushasana blew his corn, horn and um, danced in joy. This was followed by a great attack on the Pandava army by Bhishma. 
the pandava forces suffered greatly on the first day of the battle dharmaputra was seized with apprehension and duryodhana's joy was unbounded the brothers came to krishna and were engaged in anxious consultations chief among bharatas said krishna to yudhishthira do not fear god has blessed you with valiant brothers why should you entertain any doubts there is satyaki and there are virada drupata and drishtadyumna besides myself what reason is there for you to be dejected do you forget that shikantin is awaiting for his predestined victim bhishma thus did krishna comfort yudhishthira